I'm here just north of Ellensburg on Highway 97. This is as close to the fire as the U.S. Forest Service will allow us to get. By the size of the flume behind me and the one just due north, the fires have picked up momentum with the winds and the crews have went home for the night that are fighting these fires. We have such a fuel load out here due to mismanagement that we can't honestly combat these fires. We can't even control them. It's 30% contained in the last week. We are at the will of Mother Nature. Well, Tony, I'm standing here with you on your property and I'm looking at this hillside where I'm seeing probably an 80% kill by the spruce budworm on these Douglas fir trees. This is a fuel that I don't care how many firefighters we have, we're not gonna be able to combat. No, they, they'll just uh, set up fire lines around the perimeter and let it burn itself out. And if you look at those trees because of our elevation, we're at about 2,600 feet, those trees grow a whole lot slower. So those trees are between 80 and 100 years old. It's taken a long time to get there. And now they're dying because of this spruce budworm. And as the fire load builds and it hits the crowns of those trees, you're gonna have flames anywhere from 150 to 200 feet high. And you'll, you will literally hear the sound of that flame roaring. And it affects the forest health with this and at some point after the spruce budworm is done, because of the health of the ponderosa pine, the pine beetle will come in at that point, and it's pretty well gonna devastate this forest for years to come. And so then we're gonna have a forest that is actually a dead forest. It's gonna be burnt out. Any wildlife that uh, was living could possibly, it's gonna lose its habitat. It, it possibly and probably will perish in the fire. Yes. And so then we're losing not only our resource, but we're losing all of the nature that we're so trying to protect by removing man. And I would think the better cure would be for man to come in and to cut out the dead trees and to replant new ones, yes, live ones, that'll eat carbon and, and produce oxygen and, and, and leave a lasting living forest for yes. every generation to enjoy. Yes, it's a renewable resource and it's our purpose in life to take care of this and it was left for us to take care of, and it's not being done. And I believe they call that stewardship. Yes. And that's what man was intended to be, as the steward of the land. Of the land, yes. All right. Tony and Kimmy, I'm here on your private property, and I know that you have a story to tell about your forest practices that you want to perform on your own private property. Share this story, please. Clint, we've owned the property since uh, 1994. We've been a small sand and gravel operation um, and due to the several years of the spruce budworm attacking the forest here, we applied for a, a forest practice permit to cut our dead and dying Douglas fir only for forest health and fire load reduction. Unfortunately, uh, we were de denied by Mr. Goldmark and the Department of Natural Resources. Um, it hasn't been good. We're right in the middle of a big forest fire. Uh, we could possibly lose what's left in value of our timber. We've even gone to the extent of, we went to a Firewise meeting uh, that the Department of Natural Resources put on through uh, Peter Goldmark in his office. Um, I gave them my story. They took my name and number. Multiple people did. Uh, that was about three weeks ago. To date, nobody has called me back. It's just unbelievable that, that uh, here you own your property and you get denied and, uh, for forest health. Yes. Uh, you were trying to do the right thing for the forest. You were trying to clean your area, firewise it, fire so wise. that you could prevent the fire from actually getting to your castle, your home. Yes. And you were denied. Denied. I believe that over the years of me being held personally responsible through compliance and everything else, I'm always held accountable. I believe that we should uh, um, start by firing Mr. Goldmark on election day. Uh, I agree.